Hello and welcome to this CDP Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create a system and deploy it to our local machine. There are several ways to create a new system in CDP Studio. On the welcome screen you can click create new system. This will create a new system for you with the default CDP components. You can also right click the sidebar in any of the other modes and click create new system in the context menu. When you click Create New System, a dialog window will appear asking you to name the system. After you've named the system and click Create, you will be taken to Configure Mode. In the Configure Mode, we are going to add a sign component to our system. You can find the sign component under the CDP Standard Library in the Resource pane. We are going to add the sign component to the application that was generated for us. With the application selected, we simply right click the sign component in the Resource pane and click Add. This will add the component as a subcomponent to our application. Before we deploy our system, we are going to check if the deployment configuration is correct. First we select the system in the navigator. This brings up the deployment configuration. At the top we can see our applications and their deployment configurations. We can see that the device is automatically set to the local PC and that we are using a Windows 32-bit build kit. We can also see the directory that we will deploy to. Below we can see what network we are fetching devices from. In our case we are fetching the local machine from the loopback interface. The loopback interface allows us to deploy to the local machine without being connected to a network. To deploy the system you can simply right click the system and select deploy. You can also select run. This will not only deploy the system but run it after it has been successfully deployed. We will click Run to deploy and run our system. When the application is running you can see the green play button next to it. We can also see that the application is running by opening the application output tab. Here you can see that the application is now running inside its own process. You can also see that there is a 1 hour time limit because I am running on the trial version of CDP Studio. After 1 hour the application will shut down automatically. We will now connect to the system and inspect it while it is running. Simply right click the system and click connect. This will connect you to the system. You will now be able to inspect the different components as they change states. We will have a look at the sign component we added. Under signals we can see the output signal. We can also see that the component seems to output values between minus 1 and 1. In an upcoming tutorial we will cover how to analyze and graph the signals of your components. This was all for this tutorial, I will see you in the next video.